everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my experience with getting my eyebrows tattooed. This was my first time getting it done and I got the powder ombre tattoo which is basically like a semi-permanent makeup on your eyebrows and they tattooed this powder pigment onto your skin and they typically last between one to three years depending on the type of skin that you have and then also how you care for it after and if you do any touch-ups and things like that. In this video, I'll touch base with my whole experience, but I will also let you guys know what you should know before getting it done and then also the aftercare instructions. Starting off with the pricing, originally the price of this powder ombre makeup procedure is it can vary between 400 to 600 dollars and that's the actual procedure and then i think depending on your tattoo artist they will probably do like a free touch up after six to eight weeks and then also after a few months let's say five months then it rises up maybe a hundred dollars and then a couple months later, it will rise up to 150 or something like that. It just, the prices depend on your tattoo artist. But in my case, I actually got this procedure done for free. For free. She had given me a discount for my touch up after six to eight weeks for $150. And I'll let you guys know how I got this done for free. I've been following this girl on Instagram. I love the work that she does and she posts a lot of her clients of like the before and after the procedure and it always looks so bomb. And I'll link her Instagram down below in the description box. She doesn't actually know that I'm making this video. But anyways, I've always wanted to get my eyebrows done but I could never justify paying so much money for you to apply the convenience aspect to that. Waking up with like perfect eyebrows it can justify that amount of money. In this specific video, I will be talking about my experience with Alice and her client. Anyways, the reason how I got this for free was she actually posted a story on her Instagram asking for a model for her client. So what she does is she offers training for people who wants to be certified makeup tattoo artist for your eyebrows. So I immediately messaged her and I was like, I need to be this candidate. And I sent her like pictures of my current eyebrows and I was like, am I suitable to be a model for this? And I just blew up her DM basically. But she ended up picking me, which was so awesome. And when she picked me, she actually asked for my email so that she could send me just some information about the procedure also because i've never gotten it done i think it really helps to have that available it just has information like client suitability you probably are not the right fit to get this done if you have like sun damaged skin if you have active breakouts around your eyebrows if you are on accutane things like that just like information Luckily, I ended up being a good client to be a model. So she took me on and on the email, she also sent information on just instructions of what you need to do before the appointment. It's a really good thing to have this information before going into your appointment because it can really affect the actual procedure when it comes to it. So the reason I say this is for example, one of the instructions in, in the information, it says you must refrain from plucking or waxing your eyebrow area. And then also they tell you to please reschedule if you have any active acne near your eyebrows. No tanning. And last but not least, the most important, I think, is making sure that you do not consume alcohol or caffeine 24 hours prior to the appointment date. It's blood thinning, so when the tattoo gun penetrates your skin with the powder for your eyebrows, it's not going to stick if your blood is thin because of the alcohol and caffeine you've consumed 24 hours prior. 
So none of that. So let's actually talk about my experience. The appointment date comes and she messages me actually, she's running a bit behind training the client. And so she needs to push back the appointment just a little bit later on, like maybe 30 minutes or whatever. And so that was fine. I'm not in a time constraint. I just kind of found like a little, I think it was a Vietnamese restaurant nearby just to sit and just get a snack and waste time while I'm waiting. And this part is very important and I'll let you know right after. So anyways, the appointment time comes and I go in and she gets me to fill out just information. It's kind of like a consent form. Also includes just a little like medical history. And yeah, she takes me back to this room and introduces me to the client that will be trained on to do my eyebrows. And she was so sweet. She was so awesome. When they sat me down, they asked me, what kind of eyebrow shape do I want? And how dark do I want it to be? And things like that. So they first put numbing cream on my eyebrows, which I think takes about 20 minutes to settle. And then after that, they take some time to draw on my eyebrows, like the shape and just like lining it. That process actually took I think the longest just because they want to make sure that it's perfect and then after they do that they lay me down and then they start basically tattooing my eyebrows and I can definitely tell the trainee person when she is doing my eyebrows versus the teacher just because the strokes was a lot deeper the teacher actually tells the client that she's doing it a little bit too deep and she needs to kind of soften her strokes or like touch i have a high pain tolerance and they were like asking me do you need more numbing cream just like checking up on me and just making sure that it's going as planned which is really nice so here was the part where the, the teacher actually asks me if i had alcohol or caffeine within 24 hours and i said no i was like i've never had caffeine or alcohol within 24 hours i was so strict on that i was like i cannot drink i cannot have my coffee i was so good with following those instructions and she was like okay she's like huh why are you bleeding so much she was tattooing me i was like bleeding a lot and i was like i'm not sure i was like maybe it's like my type of skin it was a needle scratching on your skin over and over and over again so it was sharp but it was tolerable i could do it if you have a low pain tolerance, I would definitely suggest to ask for more numbing cream. Anyways, so she's here wondering why I'm bleeding so much. And later on, I actually didn't realize that when I was at that restaurant waiting for my appointment, they actually gave me green tea and oh my gosh, I made a mistake. At the time, it didn't clue into me that green tea has caffeine in it. I realized as I'm telling my story to my boyfriend about my experience with my eyebrows, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is literally why I was bleeding so much. I had caffeine. Ugh. Okay, so I screwed up. That was on me. Anyways, going back to the experience, this whole procedure takes about two to three hours and because of the whole training and things needed to be explained by the teacher to the client it did take three and a half hours which was fine as i mentioned i didn't have any plans to go anywhere after so that was totally fine but just to keep in mind if you do book give yourself maybe two to four hours to have it done just in case once it's done, it will be very sensitive around your eyebrows and it might be a little bit red. It's very important that you do not touch your eyebrows for the 14 days healing time. So what happens is that once you get it done, it's going to come out darker than the final result. So don't freak out if it's super dark because the powder is going to settle into your skin and it's going to come out more natural so it takes about two weeks to heal so that's 14 days and so it's, it's going to be very dark in the beginning and then 
third day in all the way up until like 10 to 12 days after you get the procedure it's gonna start scabbing peeling flaking please do not touch and peel it off yourself just let it naturally fall off i know it's gonna be very hard because you'll probably see like patches because it was quite dry and I actually read that you are able to use an ointment to help it heal faster and keep it moisturized. I got the Aquaphor and I'll link it down below, but this is what it looks like. It's just a small little bottle here. I think you can get bigger sizes, but it's just like a little ointment thing that you basically just pat like this on your eyebrows. during the healing process and then it just kind of keeps it moisturized while it's like flaking and doing its thing so this really helped making me look less of a crazy person so after two weeks it's most likely going to be healed again it just depends on your skin so it's going to be dark it's going to be peeling scabbing flaking off then it's going to look like it's faded and then the the pigment will come through your skin again and will kind of blend in and look natural. For two weeks, do not let water touch your eyebrows, like a stream of water. I actually didn't realize how hard it is to keep water from your eyebrows until after the procedure, when I went to go wash my face for the night, I was struggling to the max. So she actually recommended to buy like a little face shield I didn't plan ahead and so I didn't get the face shield but what I did was I had to be resourceful and actually use saran wrap so I'll show you what I did so I got the saran wrap like this and I folded it okay from my eyebrows like this I folded it like so so that it covers my eyebrows. And then what I did is I got a large rubber band. So I put it like this. And I'm so sorry, I can I don't have a mirror, so it's just like really hard for me to see, but I put the elastic above it. like so and it covered my eyebrows like that i look like a crazy person but honestly you just have to accept for the 14 days that you're just gonna look like a crazy person cleaning your face but no one's gonna judge you because you're just gonna be in the bathroom looking like this and people will still love you hopefully and then i would wash this part and then this part separately I didn't wear makeup around my eyebrow area for the 14 days, just less risk of an infection. And also it's just like harder to clean around that area if you have makeup on. So just to keep that in mind. Also no excessive sweating. So no like hit circuit training, no saunas that will make you sweat like crazy, no hot yogas, none of that for 14 days. No swimming, no tanning, no facials, no massages. And I'm talking about this area of massages, okay? You can have a body massage if you want. Don't touch your eyebrows, as I mentioned. And last but not least, do not sleep on your face, which I think most of us are all side sleepers or I don't know what this is called, but like, back sleepers so no sleeping on your face for the 14 days that is all i have to say about this procedure i hope you guys like this video if i missed anything or if you have any further questions that i did not mention on this video please comment down below and i'll try to answer it or someone that has done this procedure maybe they can tell you more like this video if you enjoyed it and I post new videos every Sunday, so make sure you are subscribed and you turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next Sunday on my next video.